New York Giants fans, Big Blue Nation. Reports of Von Miller might be released by the Denver Broncos. Should we take a stab at him? Should we try to sign him? Tune in, man. I'm going to let you know. Let's get it. Charger has come into the backfield. He's on the left side of Newton here on third and four. As Newton tries to get away but fails to. It's Vaughn Miller. What's going on YouTube? What's going on Facebook? What's going on Big, Big Blue Nation? You know this is Big Pat Sports Talk. You know I'm going to talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. Got another banger for you today. Got a new, new little news through the grapevine. Mr. Von Miller may be released by the Denver Broncos. And Big, Big Blue Nation, should we be interested? Should we be interested in signing an edge defender? Getting on a little agey side, but just a dominant edge defender throughout his career. Mr. Von Miller. Should we consider trying to sign him? What if he is not asking a contract of $20 million or so? Should we try to sign him? Von Miller would be a great asset to this defense. He brings what we need. Dominant pass rush. A pass rusher that needs to be double teamed. A pass rusher that has multiple pass rush moves. Who has excellent bend to get to the quarterback. Something that we haven't had in the Giants so since basically our Super Bowl runs. We haven't had a great pass rush since then. If we do sign this guy and he's healthy, he's coming off an injury where he had an uh, injury in the, in the beginning of the season, didn't play last season, but for the most part has been healthy throughout his career. I'll give you stats on that as well. He would bring a lot to the table, and it's I think it's something that Dave Gettleman and Joe Judge should think about. Let's say if he wants to sign for 14 million, 13 million. And we may be able to save a little bit of money from not signing Leonard Williams. Who knows? Would you rather have Leonard Williams or would you rather have this guy if he's ready to play? If he has, you know, his issues behind him. I don't know. I don't know, fans, man. I I I, I think I would take a Von Miller. You know? See what the hub kid blue and everybody have to say, but I would take a Von Miller over Leonard Williams. I'm sorry, I would. It's just, I mean, the proof is in the stats. I'm getting ready to show it to you right now. You know, the proof is in the stats, man. Let's look, let's look, let's look at these stats, man. Last year he didn't play any because he got injured during the preseason, but for the most part, he's been healthy. 15 games, 16 games, 16 games, 16 games, 16 games, 16 games. Had a little injury in 2013 when he only played nine. But look at the sack production, man. 2019, eight sacks. 2018, 14 and a half sacks. 2017, 10 sacks. 16, 13 and a half, 15, 11, 14, 14 sacks. 2013, he was hurt. He only got five. But look, 18 and a half, 2012. Rookie year, 2011, 11 and a half. This man averages double digit sacks. The man averages double-digit sacks. He's played a career total of 135 games and has 106 sacks. He has 106 sacks in 135 total games. That is great. That that that's that's Hall of Fame worthy numbers. If he continues with his career another four to five years and averages, that's Hall of Fame worthy numbers. And he has a ring to go with it. He won a ring with Peyton Manning his last year. I mean, look, man, the proof is in the pudding, man. The guy has 106 sacks in only 135 games. That's that's close to almost a sack a game. Not to mention all of the strip sacks that he gets. 
Not to mention the quarterback pressure that he gets. Not to mention that he gets double teamed most of the time and he's still productive. That's the type of production we need with our pass rush right now. We don't have that type of production. Yeah, Leonard Williams got 11 and a half sacks, but most of that was due to coverage. I'm going to just let you know that now. With this guy, with our coverage, can you imagine the pressure that we can get? A healthy Lorenzo Carter on the other side who was progressing before his Achilles injury. I believe him and Lorenzo Carter can be a dynamic duo. And it would definitely help out our pass rush tremendously. Tremendously. I'm not just blowing smoke, man. Look at the stats. Look at the statistics, man. 106 sacks in only 135 games. That type of production is ridiculous. And guess what? He missed a whole season. He's missed a whole season. And still averages almost 10 sacks a year. After missing a whole season. So imagine what his production could have been last year. With Bradley Chubb on the other side. The man is an absolute monster when he's healthy. Hopefully his mind is correct. With, a, with his situation that he has going on. But this, these are his stats, people. Eight sacks, 14 and a half, 10, 13 and a half, 11, 14, 18 and a half, 11 and a half. The man is an absolute beast when it comes to pressuring that quarterback. And that's what our defense needs right now. We need a number two corner and we need a number one pass rusher. And guys, he's, not, he's just reaching, he's just getting to his 30s. He may be 31 or 32, but this guy's production is unmatched, man. Looking at looking the way he's produced throughout his whole career, man, this dude will be a great asset to our defense. But that was just to show you the stats on him, man. That guy is what you call production. Consistent production. It's not, oh, he was in this contract year and he got a bunch of sacks. No, this was consistent. Since his rookie year, he's been averaging almost 10 sacks a year. Since his rookie year. Almost 10 sacks a year. Can you imagine what we could do with that production from our edge defender? So I don't know, guys. If he gets released, if he's not commanding 20 million on the market. I think we should poke the bear and see exactly what we can do with him. Because I promise you, he will be way more productive than Leonard Williams. I love Leonard Williams. Don't get it twisted. But when I look at the production, man, the production is there, man. You know what you're going to get when you get Von Miller. You know what you're getting. You're getting almost 10 sacks a year. You're getting unlimited pressure on a quarterback. You're relieving stress on your other edge rusher because you got to double team him you got to double team him. if you don't double team him, he's going to get there so just imagine this dude is that great to where those one to two to three to four times they don't double team him, he's getting there so not only signing him helps your sack production it helps your sack production even more because now your other guys are not worried about being double team they're being single and Lorenzo Carter was showing last year that he can beat single. He, he's, he's getting a little bend to his game as well. So, Big Blue fans, let me know, man. Let me know what you think, man. News is that Von Miller will be released by the Denver Broncos. If he's released, would you want to at least see exactly what it would take to sign him? And if we do sign him, what do you think? What do you think this guy would bring to our team, man? Big Blue Nation, holla at me, man. This has been Big Pass Sports Talk. Thank you for tuning into this episode. You know I'm going to talk my talk no matter what anybody thought. This is Big Pat, and I'm out. Peace. Like a game of space, cut the bullshit, these days was made for me to rise, lick me days and pay. Women freaking me greedy, licking me, doing body graffiti, throwing their panties up on the stage. Are you up on the edge of players in the shot? Just didn't do it, now you and I can relate if you vibing on the shit we thinking of. The style of flow is a vocal calico to show you what the mic I be speaking of. Got the words weak enough. Go to my crib, no need to bring a mask and glock, try not to pass the block. Getting more hot than the astronaut, sipping out the shot. I ball cause I see all the rap a lot. Let's keep party in the crash spot. Penny Henny from a crew and I ain't even broke up half a knot. Keep on holding me while I roll it, be we can smoke a ride. You can play with me to keep the passion hot.